An eruption in Yellowstone's Biscuit Basin may have created a new geyser. Geologists have revealed new details about a recent geyser eruption in Yellowstone National Park, including the shallow depth of the eruption and the surprising height of the plume. The geyser that erupted last week in Yellowstone National Park shot water and rock debris up to 600 feet 180 meters into the air, scientists said, six times higher than previously reported. Geologists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, estimated the plume's height by examining photos posted on social media. They also determined the location and depth of the eruption, which occurred on July 23rd at Black Diamond Pool in Biscuit Basin, about 2 miles .2 kilometers, northwest of the famous Old Faithful Geyser. The eruption occurred suddenly, and no early signs were detected by monitoring instruments, wrote Michael Poland, a research physicist at the U.S. Geological Survey and the scientist in charge of YVO in Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles. No one was injured, he wrote, but the explosion severely damaged the nearby boardwalk and the basin remains closed while geologists assess the activity. Researchers analyzed rock fragments ejected in the eruption and found that they were made of glacial material, sandstone, siltstone, and gravel that lay just below the surface. The eruption did not eject bedrock buried about 50 meters deep, indicating that the eruption was very shallow, Poland wrote. Shallow geyser eruptions are common in Yellowstone, he added. The damage caused was minor compared to what might have occurred. The explosion mostly ejected debris toward the Firehole River and away from the nearby boardwalk, 
where tourists were standing at the time of the eruption. The largest rock confirmed to have been ejected by the eruption weighed several hundred pounds but fell far from visitors, Poland wrote. Poland added that a blockage in the underground hydrothermal system beneath Biscuit Basin likely triggered the eruption. Mineral deposits in the water pipes that run beneath Yellowstone and feed its geysers can block steam and hot water from passing through. This obstruction causes a buildup of pressure that can eventually overcome the strength of the surrounding rock, triggering an explosion. The eruption likely rerouted the shallow hydrothermal vent system in the Biscuit Basin, and it's unclear what will happen next. By shifting the soil underground, the eruption may have returned the area to a calmer state, or it may have created a new geyser, Poland wrote. It's unknown how the thermal features will react, he wrote, but data collected by geologists from the debris from the explosion will provide more details about the actual conditions at the time of the event, 